Over to you, Julia. Increase the max Thanks, rank. Adam. That's right. Let's wait no longer and tear the plastic off our first new map, Marita. Let's check it out. Let's have a look. The Battle of Greece continues. On the Marita map, Allied forces are making a last stand to halt the Axis army sweeping through the region. Nice. This will be chapter four. We'll deploy on a sloping mountain ridge and within the tight streets of a rural Whoa. town. The Allies control the town, but Axis troops are all. Oh, that's coming down. Two minutes into the game, that's coming straight down. Our tower. Ooh, can't be having that. The that's a sniper's the position push. right in the middle of them. You must fight to hold here that is coming down. Control of the region. You'll always yes, have to something like that. Nearby, with a close proximity to other key locations. So keep Say now, nah, that is a sick. Marita that's coming straight down. Not having that. Where all four no way. Classes will be able to shine. That's coming down. Aircraft will stand aside for intense infantry gunfights and sneaky flanks <laughs> in the cobbled streets. Hills and multi-story homes. This is 1080p, but it doesn't look bad on the day, but stay alert in this steep and sort of um, what's the word? Of Not bad for in uh Could you go up there? I w up on that castle then, or is that just even more details on Marita? Please welcome Ryan MacArthur from Dice. Yeah. So thanks for coming out, Ryan. So obviously Marita looks amazing. What was the map's inspiration? Well, I think um, the, you know the team in, in, in LA that put this together, and they built the the Mercury map that the, the, that everyone saw earlier yeah. this month. Mm -hmm. And so they really wanted to continue that story of the Battle of Greece, which is a bit of an unknown story, new, new to me as well, uh, as, you, as you learn about this stuff. So it's really cool. It's sort of set um, on the Albanian-Greece border, sort of in the mountains there, where the uh, it's the not my connection power, sort of because sort of it's, the the war. it's their stream uh, sort because of set above the clouds in this nice uh, little quiet, well, I guess what used to be quiet village. What is that word? Yeah. I'm trying to think what word is, but. <laughs> and uh, it's, it's quite a different experience than Mercury. It crisped sort of, uh, up at the same point that you would have before. Seen the game before. So what kind of gameplay are we talking about? What's happening? Well, so this is going to be a, a heavily infinite... Infin yeah, that's map. coming down. So uh, as Mr. Battlefield likes to put it, this is total creative chaos. So you're just going to see I some... I love that. Oh. <laughs> creative chaos. Yeah. So what we get there is just head-on collisions in the middle it's of the map. No it's, it's sort of a d what we try Nothing to do to say. with new maps. So show me the map. spending a lot of time to figure out how do we make each one of them different. So when players go in and play one of these new maps, it sort of has a different feel than the ones they played before to sort of create that different experience for them. So this one has, um, I guess for lack of a better way to put it, is sort of a banana shape to it. Uh, and that banana yeah. shape sort of You know what that means. You can't go on well, that castle. It's, it's, when you're it's doing the center of the map. Think, it's uh, the... <laughs> Obviously, and so the shape gives you sort of a variety of different play styles, and sort of you work around sort of that castle for people to just run head on into each other, which really creates that that chaos that is bad. This mountain there, it'll go we right want, around. We want that kind of chaos, but most importantly, we need to know. Like we could talk all days, but when can we get our hands on it? That's what we want to know, right? Yeah, and I think the great thing for this, this is coming uh, in 20 July as part of chapter July. Four, so uh, stay uh, stay tuned. And I think some people are going to get to play it while they're here today. Ooh, lucky you. All right, Freeman, who's uh, we've stuck up there for no other reason than, well, my own entertainment, has more on chapter four for you. Over to you, Freeman. I'm up here PTFO, and I don't know what you're giving out to me, Julia. Listen, <laughs> we have more maps. So let's deliver a brand I've new seen one them to in you. The trailer. This is Al Sundan. It's coming in chapter four. Oh, this is the... the um the, the, the Cockney guy, um, African desert in a vast the campaign, I can't remember what it was called. Five. This Al looks Sundan. like it was lifted straight from out. It Prepare might be different. To engage alongside a lush desert coast and contrasting harsh environments. Axis forces have militarized the area with camps, a radar tower, and an airbase. Yeah. You must fight over possession of these critical points. In Al Sundan, We've taken the vista used in the single-player war story under no flag and doubled down on oh, air really? and land vehicle combat. Yes. With this, the location has been optimized for all-out multiplayer It has action. been changed. On this open map, it's up to you to shape the fight. With large distances, vehicle-based team play, and battles across ranges, you'll always have plenty of choices. Make good use of I this said this in work when I was win. showing my Utilize friend the, the vehicles, trailer. Mounted guns, it looks like it, it is the map, you know. It's been changed. Yeah. Dominate the sky 
or engage in fast-paced infantry battles in tight interior areas. I always tilt my head when I'm flying one of these. Al Sundan is classic battlefield. We can't wait to let you play it. Nice. Yeah. That's amazing. So obviously Al Sundown was adapted from uh, Under No Flag. So tell us a little bit about what that process was like. Yeah, so usually uh, you know, when, the guys say that when the team <laughs> sort of focuses on building these war stories, they want to create these nice narrative linear experiences mm. and sort of that really tell the story of, of World War II. Um, but with, um, with Under No Fly, they sort of took a little bit of a different approach to this and sort of made this big, wide-open experience. Uh, and, and that showed a lot of p potential from a multiplayer uh, perspective as well. So when we finished the game originally, the team wanted to sort of sit down and, and, and sort of a small group of them and take a shot at turning this into uh, what could be an amazing it's battlefield wide. map. It's, it's, it's huge. This is a really wide. big map. This is your sort of classic battlefield sandbox It map. is nice. This is where you're going to see you know, tanks and planes and infantry and all of that together in sort of what is what is truly Battlefield. Um, uh, it's sort of built for that open world gameplay with, you know, depending on no matter how you want to play. Tell you, they've been a while with these maps. Yeah, oh, definitely. And so, so how to, do um, I kind of, you know, adjust my strategy? Because obviously it's such a wide map. Like, what you know, am I doing? The, um, well, I think if you look at it, there's room for all different play styles. Oops. So there's six flags on this when you're playing Conquest. And you can see here, even if you can see from the videos here, you've got, you know, when you go into the village, it's all about infantry play and speed and flanking through the things. And uh, the bridge in the middle, it's all about, you know, sort of controlling that with infantry gameplay. And I think Mr. Battlefield the other day decided to just sit there with his tank and <laughs> destroy me. But, um, it's just something that he likes to do. He's kind of mean, but oh. he's not mean. He's super <laughs> nice. But, uh, <laughs> no, but most importantly, I mean, again, we could go on and on and on. We're tight for time because there's so much to get through. We've got so many announcements. When can we get our hands uh, on Al Sandan? But so this is the first map that we're going to come in with Chapter 4. So June 27th, uh, this is going to be available day one, Chapter 4 for everybody. Nice, nice. nice. Now, we've got a couple more surprises to come. But before we get into all that, let's so take a look at what's coming in August towards Marita the end. Marita in of June, uh, July. Get up close and this is clearly using the, the assets from the odds. Firestorm. The intense close quarter maps are coming to Battlefield 5. Close quarter maps? By popular demand, we're bringing more maps to players craving tighter types of multiplayer, specially tailored for intimate infantry combat. The new battlefields will challenge your squad in unique ways. Teamwork, skill and adaptation are your keys to victory. Fight through an explosives production facility in Lufferton Islands and unseat the Axis occupation in Provence. Prepare to assemble your team and rise above your enemies and prepare to learn more about these new battlefields later in the year. There's a game mode called Outpost in next week's challenges that nobody's mentioned anything about. wonder if we knew what that is. Oh, that's crazy. Look at that. Now, to help us break down these new maps, Ryan and I are joined by Mr. Battlefield himself, Lars Gustafsson. <laughs> I if you made that up Thanks. yourself. But, <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> oh, and because he asked nicely, we also let uh, Freeman come down from his weird it's a place. Bloody good game. Worse than my Firestorm teammates, you just leave me behind everywhere. But, but we can all understand why that uh, happens. Yeah, that's true. Do you want to take over this one for sure, the start? Sure, don't mind if I do. Yeah, yeah, go for um, it. Lars, these are very different then to the two maps we've already shown so far today. You can't pull the... Uh, they are. I mean, taking a step back, all the we've been closely monitoring how players engage in types of war and, and no surprise, I mean, they love the bigger modes like Conquest. It's always been kind of a battlefield pillar. But it's been super fun to watch how they engage with passion and dedication in the smaller modes like Squad Conquest, for example, which uh, really become a success. And with that in mind, then, we've, uh, together with the DICE LA studio, they've been going at it, tailoring maps that are specially made for smaller modes. Uh, and as such, being able to give that, you know, the close quarter feeling, the tight, what you say, the intimate combat. Intimate, intimate infantry combat. Oh, yeah, we need that on a T-shirt. Yeah. Yeah. Intimate like, infantry. We're making that platoon when we get back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, what, what kind of the, um, the sort of, like, key strategies, then, when you're playing think, close quarters on this map? You know, as we see with smaller these smaller maps, games, I mean, the key to this is just really close good play, really good squad play. Uh, you prefer, And so, you know, yeah. sticking together and, and not leaving anybody behind, like Mr. Freeman over here. Yeah. Unless he's but, I mean, what if you want to leave him behind, can you? <laughs> then it's acceptable. I think Because I would. It's two beautiful maps. It'd just be a spinning number play. <laughs> it would be, yeah. yeah. As you saw, low footants. It's I know what you mean. Like beautiful a, Nordic country. Like if you play side, but then kind of like a Call of Duty, gunfire and everything close combat quarters game, 
and then Provence is fast. Uh, yeah. I, I plan to take and, my wife um, there, you know, pastilles on the square. Stop but destroying <laughs> places you want to take your family. Sort of like, I don't know, it's really Brian. small. Yeah, take him yeah. instead. Yeah. And then go but with Battlefield, the map's yeah. still yeah. You know, fairly big, you know, because it's sort of 16. Is it 16 v 16? To master every inch of it. Like playing Domination or something, you've got three flags as opposed to like a seven on a big conquest map. Still close quarters, but it's still like room to move. You know what I mean? Some news about some kind of core gameplay updates we know that you've all been waiting for. So uh, yeah. you're excited about this one. Last yeah, one yeah. 32, 30, 30. Like, oh, no, that's I mean, Conquest, the 64 player map. I mean, let's not delve. the smaller we, we domination we team one. death match, you know, the smaller the maps. Game? I think there's 16 v 16. Let's talk Max Frank. We do know, I believe. and it's been loudly uh, made to us our kind of awareness that there are players out there too skilled who maxed out on rank 50 too quickly. So we've taken that to mm -hmm. heart and we've now taken the max rank from 50 to 500. This is what it's I was talking about. Yeah. Uh, 500. And it's Battlefield 500 now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's truly a journey for our players to go on uh, yeah. moving forward. And it's a grind train, but what are people getting if they're on it? Yeah, what, I mean, what are we getting? We're all in it. You know, we want the goodies. So <laughs> to start with, already from rank uh, 51, yeah. Yeah, you will be uh, granted uh, company coins for every mm. rank up. But then, hmm. at every, do we call them milestone ranks, you know, every 50th rank, you will get one shiny new rank icon to show off your skills and also a beautiful set of dog tags. So, lots of ways of showing off your mastery on your journey mm. towards, you know, that the, the world domination. <laughs> <laughs> <That's all. laughs> it's August. already happening. August, August is the time. Brilliant. So, it's almost here. Almost here. August for, for, for Max uh, Rank. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I wondered if we were talking about world domination or when that was happening, yeah. but oh, all right. Private games then. The other <laughs> so we've got Max in June, July, like. and then August well, we got yes. ranks I mean, going up. Another one that's uh, more lovely community have been vocal about. And previously, for those of you who have been with Battlefield, it was called RSP, the rented server program. But now we're shifting over to private games. And what it means, the beautiful thing with it is, the baseline package that came out is free for everyone that plays Battlefield 5. So a beautiful package. It's there to let you set up your servers and, and kind free? of create your experiences. Whether you want to capture oh. or, you know, play with your friends. And Freeman, you can play with free? us. Free? For sure. Thanks. You can sit with them. <laughs> and uh, obviously, that you might know, sound you're not getting crazy, but Battlefield so 4, you had to rent Mr. Battlefield at AOL a server. And, uh, oh, this is... Well, <laughs> just <saying>. Yes. <laughs> we, uh, that is the thing, though. Like, the problem with this was... Up, right? Yeah. No, exactly. It's coming in, um, let's see... September. September, September yeah. And uh, at that time, uh, I mean, we want you to dive on it, set up your servers, play it... Uh, and give us feedback, since this is kind of just the beginning of the journey. Oh, I'll have to set up a server who's, who's with me. What did we do right, and where You're on we Xbox. shape up and, and, and take it uh, an extra notch? Come on so now. Be well, with us. And say cross-play at the end okay. of this. Well, Lars, don't, don't tell Ryan, but you know you're my favourite for this. Shock us. Surprise us now. We've got more Call of Duty's yet. doing cross-play. <laughs> you just tell me cross-play. Come on. It's going to get a bit weird and fighty up here. <laughs> um, well, as promised, we've got one more Battlefield map to show you. It's called Operation Underground. Last yep. one, talk us through Operation what Operation Metro about to is see. back. Yes. Let's have a look. Well, this is the, the ultimate definition of a passion project. So, Inge Yoran, the, the, the original designer for Operation Metro, uh, when we finished Battlefield V uh, and shipped it, he wanted to do something that he just, just was truly invested in. So, we kind of went down and he sat yeah, down and, and he came back it, with this is Operation what's Underground. And, and when he showed it to the team, we knew we, we just had to make this. And I think Lars is sort of being part of that, that journey in the beginning. I mean, you know how much this meant to, to, to the team. Yeah, I mean, I was there when, when uh, we started to build the maps for Battlefield Three. And early on, it was kind of a brainstorm. I still remember it was tons of images on the wall. We challenged the team to, you know, where do you want to fight? Everything from subway to shopping mall to God knows everywhere. Yeah. Uh, and then the team started, or someone smart, not me, apparently, uh, said, <laughs> Can, do I only get to pick one? Yeah. So they started to pick a number of them. And I think Inge then chose three of them, which was the park, the subway, oh. and uh, kind of the bank area in the city. Like a kind and of scene tapas. I mean, you don't want one yeah. meal. You want three lots of meals all in More one meal. Better, yeah. Right? Yeah. Find yeah. the, uh, so you can see, when you see 16 kind of sitting in behind us here, you can see the true inspiration. But what Inge Aran and the talented crew with him has done is to, to kind of take at heart the feedback from the original Metro mm. and started to provide especially a lot of flanking routes. 
so that you can kind of move around and be smart about it. And tons of wonder if it's true easy to spot stories. Also Everyone loves the sneaky flank. Everyone loves the sneaky flank. Cheeky sneaky flank. I mean, I think as you look at it, like this is this is not Metro remastered. This is as the guys look at it, sort of reimagined. And I think you've got a bunch of different diverse areas. You've got. Uh, big open courtyards, you know, at street level and, and narrow streets, and you go down into where yep, you see in the, in, in the video here, where the where the subway cars are, and into the sub basements, and you're going to find a whole bunch of different things and different ways to play and different styles. Uh, and I know the guys have a few surprises in there as well that uh, that I think the community's really going to enjoy when they get there. So when 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 do we get it? That's what the big question for today. It's just when <laughs> when 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 when, 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 when <laughs> October between yeah. chapter four and five. Yeah. <laughs> I think this is, the one, this is the one the team is is really excited about as well. So, yeah, so yeah. I, I know I. I can't no. wait for October. No, either, no, so. I have a cracking time playing it in play test. I'm yeah. so looking Come forward on. for everyone else getting to play it too. Yeah, that'll be close. That'll be, that. so, that'll oh, be yeah, too close. Oh, sorry, quarters. those aren't the only surprises. This is the problem. We've got too much to get through. I'm just like, stop talking. Are they going to say so cross many surprises for you. Uh, so today we're giving you never before seen details on Battlefield 5's Chapter 5. Here's a little look at what the team's been working on. What? Let's get to Chapter 4 first, you maniacs. Is this Russia? No. Oh. An helicopter, no way. A timeless theater of war. A new vision. I thought that was... Prepare to deploy to the Pacific. The team at DICE are hard at work creating an iconic World War II experience. Releasing this fall with Chapter 5 of Battlefield 5. Do you remember Wake Island? As the US and Japan enter the fight, you'll clash across several battlefields, including a modern take on an absolute classic, Iwo Jima. Since Battlefield began, yeah. the Pacific Theatre has been part of its DNA. Now, we're crafting the ultimate reimagining of the conflict. By capturing real life environments and using the power of frostbite, we're bringing you the Pacific realized with today's capabilities and technology. Take part in oh, the US invasions on. as their unstoppable forces charge inland towards unwavering Japanese defenses. Use new amphibious units to pummel the war ridden shores and an expanded arsenal to bring your squad to victory. We have a lot more to share about the Pacific and how it will evolve Battlefield 5 later in the year. Stay tuned. Nice. Okay, most this thing is going to be. Like a bunch of like I like how they. Like, let's find out more about that. By the oh, time the, the end of the year, you can have so much yeah, right. content and different I know, it's content. How many do you know what I mean? Are willing to to make that extra effort to go to Hawaii? Oh, it's yeah. like the whole yeah. world. Yeah. Yeah. So it's they quite, quite they drop in. Really appreciate the team putting in that work. Oh yeah, taking one for the bits of different. I mean, you know, the big new. The whole is a world war. Addition to Battlefield Five, so going back new theater of war in the Pacific. I mean, this is. Uh, this is a homecoming for Lars. I mean, not Iwo Jima itself, but the <laughs> development of it. Um, I remember uh, my childhood. <laughs> <laughs> Where the beard come from? Yeah, <laughs> a thousand yards. Yeah. No, but uh, jokes aside, it's uh, you know having been with Battlefield all through the journey, it's really where it all started. Battlefield 1942. Uh, you know the Pacific Theater, and already when we started to talk about this game, the well, journey the through the PC Second World War, everyone came up. In the day. Kind of, when do we go to the Pacific? So this is the time. It feels like a homecoming. 1942, Battlefield 1943. We've been there before, but uh, this is in a new way. And I think I think the great thing. I mean, we hear a lot from the community, and I know uh, you know we we have these discussions. You've got where are my U.S. forces? Where's my Japanese army? Uh, and you know, getting to sit here in L.A. today and tell everybody that. It's coming, Chapter 5, you're going to get those things. You're going to see some uh, familiar places like Iwo Jima. Uh, we've got two other maps coming with that, so three maps coming with the initial package of the Pacific in Chapter nice. 5. Uh, some ones I think, the, I think people are going to be really happy with uh, what they're going to see. And I just say in some of that, as you can hear from the ping in the, in the trailer, the ping. Uh, some iconic uh, <laughs> oh. weapons and things as well. <laughs> My Garand, it's coming, right? Yes. We're living for the ping, so <laughs> I mean, we wouldn't go to Iwo Jima without kind of the weaponry and the hardware. So bringing tons of iconic weapon, weapons, gadgets, and also, after all, it's battlefield. So, of mm. course, there will be a new set of vehicles. And, and we want to take that extra step and kind of start giving you the boats, fulfilling that sandbox of land, air, and sea. And the team has focused hard on capturing kind of that 
invasion experience. I mean, it was very much about uh, yeah. island hopping during the war. So, Captain is the one that does the voiceovers for the tutorials so in the game. Tons of new stuff. And, it comes and up new on the screen. But... And beautiful Sparker. locations that very you ultimately locations. destroy beyond <laughs> recognition. Uh, well, Lars we and Ryan, thank you both very much for joining us. So, thank if you. you've lost track of all of these brand new Battlefield announcements, I don't blame you because honestly, there was quite a lot. <laughs> so, uh, do you want to give us a little bit of a recap there, Freeman? Sure. I'll leave that on your capable shoulders. Okay, on back of the balcony, if I... Yeah, go on, get out there. Right, okay. Um, <laughs> okay, we've got a load more multiplayer maps then coming in 2019. That starts with Al Sundan on June 27th, followed by Marita in July. We're bringing in a brand new theatre of water. FIFA Falcon next. The Pacific. That's releasing this fall. We're also bringing features we've heard the community ask for. An increase in max rank from 50 to 500 and private games. Also, one final announcement. Starting today, you can play Battlefield 5 in the EA and Origin Access Vault and through EA Access on PlayStation 4 when it launches next month. Is that it? Oh. Uh, yeah, that's, I think that pretty much covers you can it. Get well EA yeah, yeah, Access the, the table, is coming to PlayStation <laughs> and <laughs> it's involved yeah, if you I'm play Julie this Hardy. subscription. I thought they were going to uh, say cross-play the then. Oh. To visit us in person at EA Play. Goodbye. I thought they were going to... The next Call of Duty has announced that it's uh, cross, going to be cross-play. I thought they were going to try and beat him to it then. Could you imagine that?